My first guests worked together as test subjects for a research corporation responsible for creating advanced technology for the military in the 50s. They were used as pawns by an antagonistic artificial intelligence entity in order to test their ability to work together solving complex puzzle systems and dangerous obstacle courses with the aid of advanced teleportation technology. Whatever you do, don't tell them what happens if they solve all the puzzles in the end. It's Matt and Jeremy. My second team is a couple destined to find each other. He was a loner who made everyone think he was a big angry monster, but hiding beneath those layers was a romantic heart. She was a red-headed damsel with a mean roundhouse kick looking for her whole life for true love. Together they usurped a mani maniacal dictator and even made friends with a few mythological talking animals along the way. Cue their Smash Mouth theme song, it's Michael and Lindsay. And I'm your host, John Rice, you're welcome on the spot. Spot. Hi! Hey, hey John. John. So we're Hello. Welcome to my show. I just have oh, Smash Mouth stuck in my head now. Michael, Sorry. welcome to my show for the Yo, first time. Hey. Hey. Yeah. You're, you're the only newbie here. Hey, you know, the setup thing. I'll show you the ropes. Yeah. So this is what you've been doing. This is yeah. what I've been doing. Ah, I've been hearing you a lot wonder about what it. I do for a job. Well, you know, you sit on our couch a lot. I do that. He yeah. lives on this that, set. Yeah. Some, yeah. Some when I'm not on the couch, I'm over here. Underneath the chair. Yeah, that makes sense. You're not on our couch about one day a week. <laughs> uh, welcome to the spot. So we have a few orders of business to get to before we go to games. Chairs goodness. are like mini couches, anyways. Go ahead. <laughs> Lindsay's lost yeah, her side right there. Huh? <laughs> Save it for the game. There is a train of thought called Lindsay, and it doesn't stop for Lindsay, jack shit. Lindsay, don't worry. <laughs> I'm there too. I'm gonna it's latch like that meme something. with don't the dude in the crowd. Like <laughs> the chairs are just mini couches. <laughs> um, all right. So team names. Yeah. Oh yeah. So, what do you guys uh, got? You we guys, were, what you guys were? Um, we were the wear trousers. Don't, don't worry about the that. The wear trousers with the twooping. So we this evolved. this week we uh, we're... wanted to do the A team, but yeah. we don't, it can't be the A team. No, they're, they're taken. Right. So like, we're, by more important people, <laughs> we're the A minus team. Hey. A minus team. Here we go. All right. Good. Thanks. Uh, All the effort people... for the lesser grade. So you have to actually <laughs> spell out A minus team, or the hashtag doesn't work. You could just. It's, yeah, oh, you have yeah. to write the word minus. Yeah. Wait, oh, so, it just looks wait. like A team. Cause it looks a like minus hyphen. team looks like A team. Yeah, yeah well, it's like an A hyphen team. You have to write it. Yeah. But they use a hyphen. A you minus looks like aminous. That's but, what it looks okay. like. Okay. Well, yeah, that's that's what that's I'm telling you. Capitalize the M. John, I'm upset. Yeah. Did we win? Is yeah, it, you did. It's not J minus Z. Five points to Michael and Lindsay already. Well, we're fucked already. Yes. We haven't even started, Michael. We're on the spot. All right. you. Michael. It's the name of the show. Yo, it was the couch comment. We're going to have to go with Team Sis. Mm hmm. Uh, How's that spelled out? S I S? No, C I S. C I S. And that is uh, obviously for the Confederacy of Intergalactic Systems. For all the uh, Star, Wars Star Wars fans out there. Okay. <laughs> Count Dooku. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like we lost Geonosis in an unfair fight. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Yoda. Yeah. He's a fucking. Yeah. He, it's all propaganda. What a little bastard. He's basically Puppet like Hitler. Propaganda yeah. That. So, yeah. Tiny little green Hitler. I like how quickly yeah. Hitler has come up on yeah. 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 really, We had a Look really Hitler heavy episode last week. So, Team Sis. A little golden gust. Hashtag Sis. If you want to root on uh, yeah, Michael sure, and Lindsay. You know. We got the Golden Gus. Oh, oh, shit. Is that what we're going to take yeah. from you today? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You want to get it right now? Come live with us. Yeah. yeah. Right. I don't <laughs> plan I'd win or not. I'm just going to take it from I'm you. I'm glad that Matt's yeah. used to holding lower so oh, he has yeah. to hit the base, too. He's right not there. Right here. Yeah, yeah. Right, right at the base of it. <laughs> I got it, man. Don't worry. It makes, it look, it makes it look bigger. Yeah. yeah. So did you make that? Finger? Did yeah. you make that for the show, or do we have that? I did. Line I handcrafted around? it. That's good. It's well, actually, clearly, you looks, didn't looks do good. shit, John. Somebody else wow. made it. We shrunk down Gus and just dipped him. In the <laughs> Where's that? That's, how that's baby the Gus easiest died, route. Actually. He's like Han Solo. We had him left yeah. over from that short. <laughs> Fucking Gus. I'm sick of him. I'll Let's, be honest. Yeah. Gus statue. Gus face on the Reddit flare. Fuck off, Gus. I feel like Gus is 2014. We're in 2015. I feel like Gus is like fucking 2005. Just rip this in half. What's what's I mean, like what do we replace? Thing. I mean, what do we get a golden of? Well, I mean, it's your show, so not you. Jeff. Yeah. Uh, well, this is, Jeff. This is an open forum. Jeff did good. A golden Jeff. Gold I would blue. I would fight for that trophy. <laughs> okay. Who could we have you fight? Yeah. <laughs> She's like, how stupid is that? A golden Gus. Let's replace it with a golden Jeff. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck that guy. Who would score a time limit? Picture no. of Jeff on your test. That's because I won it fair That's and square. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What if you want a golden but Jeff? He's not the star of On the Spot. There's I mean, so much he, was, he was the star. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That one Michael time. Likes to the look star. At that so the star. How about this? That. Every week, make trophies of the contestants. Oh. There you go. Make yep. a trophy of the winner. Yeah. And then make sure the winner never gets thrown trophy. Yeah. So then the, the you yeah. could it'd be like Did a collect win? them all type thing. Is you have over? to win like twenty. All right, so now that we've talked about the golden gust for like fifteen minutes, yeah. John, it's been like four. 
<laughs> Exaggeration. Thank yeah. you, Tops. I A appreciate you keeping me in check. Yeah. You know, I go to that Let's sarcastic. Keep it real. Let's keep it real. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate Let's that. Let's keep it real. We are going to be playing impromptu pitch today, so we do need Whoa, your guys' <laughs> Went over Jesus that. Went over Christ! That. You're yes. so easy. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Remember, we did just the cut their through. mics. All their mics. <laughs> cut them. I don't. We're gonna play them. impromptu pitch. Just yell really loud. I would like you to use the hashtag on the spot and send us person, place, or genre. Is anybody <laughs> gonna do that? Is somebody gonna do that? Got anything? Yeah, you good? Fine. All right. Don't sense. worry. I'm getting warmed up. <laughs> All right. So our first game is cutting linguistics, where we have pulled words. There we go. Oh shit. I love that little finger. I thought I was going to do that. Yeah, oh like, yeah, we forgot yeah. Michael. Michael, hit the noise. Mike, do do that, do do do. There yeah, you go. Michael's our Foley artist Ring for uh, <laughs> today's episode of On the Spot. <laughs> don't cut to me when I'm doing it. That, you ruin the, the fucking illusion, right? the illusion. Oh, uh, don't look behind the curtain. It's All like right, a magician so. pulling a rabbit out of a hat, and they go <laughs> inside the hat. They're like, oh, look at it, <laughs> just in case. That rabbit's been there the whole John time. John talks so bad. Wait, Lindsay, we shut up. words from Urban Dictionary, and we're going to give those words to each team. Each team will get Are a word and two opportunities to answer. If they get it right, they get Sounds points. Like if they get it wrong, the other team gets an opportunity to answer. If nobody gets it right, I give points to whoever is not yelling at me. All right. Which game no is this? No one's getting points. Uh, yeah. So that makes sense to everybody who yeah. heard that? Yeah. Oh, love it. Yep. Perfect. Let's go with uh, – what was your team name again? The A minus team. team. Dumb. 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 What's our first word? Like we're already in the lead. Yeah. Last chance undies. We're memorable. Oh, got it, got it. Okay, last chance undies is when uh, you go into your underwear drawer, nothing's in there. Yeah. They're all in the hamper. Yeah. So, like, you, you grab one out of there. And, Wait, uh, but they're not all in there. So you go to the hamper? Yeah, because they're in the dirty. Okay. They're, they're, they've been worn, you know, two, three times maybe. Yeah. So uh, you take them out, give them a look, check the skid marks on there. You don't smell it? Or? Yeah, you got to well, shut up. <laughs> yeah. And then you just... You flip them inside out, wear them again. Okay, so the skid marks on the outside. Yeah, and that is the last chance you got with those. Last things. chance you got with those. Yeah, last. All sec- right. It's like last second on these, but last chance because that's what the. Wow, last says. second he oh. seems even more like, like. Yeah, you're crazy. like crazy. You're like, well, these ones. No, 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 no. <laughs> All right, you already gave a definition. <laughs> Matt, I got one. Okay, it's close. so, so like, say you're at a party. I'm assuming everybody's been to one. Before. You ever been to a party, Matt? No. So, no. All right, so <laughs> nerd. <laughs> got me. Anyway. You're at your party. You uh, you have a little bit of a drunken accident. You know, maybe maybe it's some puke. I thought you said maybe a drunken accent. Puke in your underwear. You are drunk. <laughs> well, I mean, if you open your pants before you puke, Got it. I don't know. I don't know what you do. Puke out of my puke. asshole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you uh, you puke. Maybe maybe you have a little bit of a, a doozy of a toozy. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> there's like an emergency break glass thing on the on the wall. Really. You know? That's underwear, your last chance undies. Oh. It's for whenever you throw a party, you put that up on the wall. You've been to a party that there's yeah. been... No, I've hosted a party where glass I, I put encased a glass-encased underwear on the wall. Underwear. And, you know, it was used. Your it's, confusion makes it sound like you haven't been to Well, a party. It's, it yeah. sounds very useful. I just haven't experienced well, it's just, it yet. Whenever yeah. you fuck up your underwear at a party, you fucking walk over, you, oh, emergency. You fucking you up underwear up the at underwear, parties? Put them on. That's the last chance undies. <laughs> he doesn't care. No, I don't <laughs> care, dude. <laughs> All right. Uh, you guys got it close. Let's see if you guys might even get it right, right, uh, right on the head. Give it away, why don't you? <laughs> what do you guys think? You guys got a, a, yeah, an idea? Cool. Yeah. Um, I'm coming from a female perspective on of this. Of course. Well. I don't like where this is going. Yeah, I know. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> You've already so, intimidated Jeremy. Yeah. My <laughs> The last chance undies can be one of two things. It can be if a female's feeling it, they're kind of into the moment of whatever uh, whatever their partner's doing. And uh-huh. You have like a reach down, and it's like, this is your last chance to go under if you want that undie. <laughs> oh. But this is it. Oh, that's a whole If you don't thing. act now, we're done. We're done here. <laughs> Like yeah, it's like a very quick commercial. It's like a, time, no. a timer on proper sexual etiquette. Yeah, if it's already initiated, then the last chance undies are you reaching for your underwear after the sex under the bed? Yeah, like Indiana fucking Jones before you leave, without before giving him your drops. numbers. Yeah, yeah. Can, can that be the name a of the next Indiana movie. Jones film? Indiana fucking Jones. I'm really <laughs> pleased with the lack of mentorship. starring Chris Pratt. <laughs> <laughs> it, it definitely could have gone that way. Yeah. He's just like son of a bitch. Yeah, I left my underwear in there. I, I like that kind of indie. If it's starring Chris Pratt and it's a sex scene, I hope they at least flash forward and it's Harrison Ford. Is like him ben, having yeah. sex with just, Harrison Ford? Just, no, Harrison Ford. I'd he be becomes cool. Harrison Ford oh. because he's Indiana Where's, Jones. So what and you're saying it's is you like, want a Harrison Ford sex it's scene. It's just like hardcore, 70-year-old, just <laughs> uncensored, full penetration sex scene. Yeah. And he's just like going to town on yeah. someone. Well, he's just we, like 69, yeah. just anal. Harrison Ford's you, still Can attractive? Harrison Ford right? even do that anymore? I'd see that. I, have, I bet sure he could. He fucking yeah. landed a plane on a golf course. Yeah. What do you think? Fair the enough. man can do anything. Little do people know Chris Pratt is a... Harrison Ford from the future who wishes he was in comedy. 
Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, you <laughs> are on the show, Jim. Yeah, get get off. I really tried to get that. I really tried. It just is not gettable. Um, let's find out what the real definition is. Dude, I didn't go. Old underwear that you take on vacation, then hey, trash, right so you have Same. less dirty laundry to pack mm. for your trip home. Okay. You know, you got undies, they're on their last string. You could just turn not... them inside out and wear them again. Right, but they're like, you've all gone even beyond that. He's oh. saying like, like even beyond there, the there level of no trip, you're going to just ditch your underwear somewhere. Like, you're in Paris and you go on top of the Eiffel Tower. Fuck these! I'd That's your last chance. He tossed it off like a yeah. bouquet. probably no. throw it in the garbage, man. Yeah, I don't think you need to throw it off the top of the fucking... Like well, a Eiffel Eiffel Tower. more of a, a bit of scenery if you yeah. throw it off the Eiffel I feel tower. bad packing you know, it. looks better. Like, I'm never gonna Wave see Wave it up there like yeah. a oh, goddamn flag. flag. Yeah. My like, last chance right? undies yeah. aren't really, like, fucked up from, like, anus stuff. Not, like, shit. Yeah. It's usually the anal. fabric rips from the elastic. Yeah. So it's, oh, like, yeah. dangling. Yeah. And you get, like, that, that curtain yeah. effect. Yeah. yeah. You know, and, and Lindsay's like always like, "Fucking yeah. throw them away." And I'm nope. like, "That's fine. Yeah. They don't. There's it's not even getting, poop in them. It doesn't contain your whole junk. That's I got okay. my junk. It doesn't <laughs> no. contain the side no. of my hip." Mm -mm. I think I got about like five or six undies at home that are like in that stage. Yeah, no. yeah. Is it like I undies? should go get. I some always ones. buy more, and I'm like, then I can throw away the old ones. But then I'm like, now I have no. more. Yeah, you're like, you're like I'll just keep all of them. I can wear like two pairs a day. Yeah. Who doesn't want I, to do that? I so, laughed a little bit when I, Jeremy gave his explanation and he was like, maybe you've worn them like two or three times. I was like, yeah. Or like nine. <laughs> Before washing them? Yeah. No, That's what I meant. Oh, did you wash them? I just wear it for nine days, take yeah. them off, put on another pair, then put those back on. Yeah. I couldn't do it. You just like, space them out. Enough time. Yeah, uh, air. Did the air, air not clean them? Air is a natural cleaner. Yeah. I thought well, it you was. You wave it fast enough. And that's how cavemen used to wave. Is that one of your duties at home? Lindsay just... Give me those panties. All right, so... uh. Jeremy got the closest, I think, so I'm gonna give Boom, Jeremy the points sweet. on that. Damn it. I don't even like thinking about it. It's like taking a pet yeah. to be put down. See, what, you know, do you buy it? You don't shoot the undies. It's a hey, little you too far. You kind of do. Yeah, you throw them away. Depending on what them. country you're, you're visiting. Them in the elastic. <laughs> Those are dead underwear. We don't shoot them, but you ever like ripped old clothes where you're like the Hulk and you're like, ah, I'm done with you. You can do a like 21 gun salute where you toss them up in the air and. You try to shoot them. That's how 21 gun salutes work. That's not like skeet shooting at a funeral. You're trying to kill the underwear, right? Launch the coffin. All right, next word. For Team Sis. You your Pokemoning. What is Pokemoning? You gotta be all over this. I actually... No, think no, no, it's not your turn. It's not your turn. Okay. Okay. Son of a bitch. I'm <laughs> not telling him. Did you, you, you hear first? me tell him? What do you guys, what do you guys think? Right. What, what are the Joneses? I can go first. Go ahead. All right, Pokemoning is when a high school student really wants to have lay of the land and kind of get around, whether it be male or female. Mm -hmm. uh, so they've kind of, you know, had a little bit of this, a little bit of that with all their classmates, and they got so wait, wait, What's a little bit of this? What's a little bit of this? Like me hand stuff, mouth oh, okay, stuff. Oh, okay, okay. We're talking sexual. Stuff. Yeah, We're talking sexual, doesn't really okay. matter. But, you know, <laughs> whatever your preference. After that all is said and done, you they realize that they have accumulated a lot of STIs. So they've been Pokemoning. They caught them all. So, oh, God damn it. That yeah. was, that came, that that came was a good up for a pun. Yeah. That, that, was a had, that was good. That's applause. What the fuck? Yeah, that's Caden. <laughs> that was like an Oscar speech. What was that? <laughs> Michael. I was waiting for you to say my name. In the event that that's not what Pokemoning is. What is it? Uh, Pokemoning is actually uh, the collection of... Um, just like natural animals, like in their habitat. Like, yeah. Like, you know, I grew up in New Jersey and there's a lot of squirrels and raccoons. <laughs> so. When you said that, you I thought up? of like exotic animals. <laughs> like, Went straight to squirrels and raccoons exotic. in New Jersey. Like yeah. yeah. Up, fucking John. shit doesn't exist here. <laughs> there's no fucking trees here. <laughs> we have we have squirrels yeah. and raccoons. You have like three trees in Austin. Yeah. They're no. nowhere to be found. Right, yeah, at the park. Somebody, Wait, somebody's is Jersey known for trees? Oh, yeah. It's a fucking garden state. Oh. Yeah. All right. Garden state. Come on. Yeah. You ever see that Zach Braff movie? Yeah. It's her favorite. It's, it's amazing. It's called Jersey. So, so Pokemoning is when you go out and you just beat the shit out of animals <laughs> and you take them back to your house. It's like, oh, go dude, around rocks. Yeah, you see that raccoon? Fucking throw a rock at it. Right? No you hit it in the head. You bring it home. Guess what? Next time somebody comes over, it's like, raccoon, rabies! <laughs> and then they attack the people that come over. Or the people that come over launch their animal and they're like, oh, yeah, pigeon. <laughs> right. Take so, that. So people Pid don't generally have, like, guard from, dogs. from New York. They have like That's guard raccoons and squirrels. I mean, you could have a guard dog if, if you went out. The difference between Pokemoning is like you can't go to the to the pound and can't get a bite. dog. That's cheap. That's adopting a dog. Pokemoning is like, oh shit, there's that dog in the subway. I love that dog. <laughs> Fucking kick him in the side, kick him in the ribs, because you gotta you gotta weaken him yeah. first before you catch him. Paralyze him. Punch him in the fucking face. Get him in the ribs. And then when he's out, so you, you bring him home. Yeah. 
he wakes up and he's like, oh my god, you're my master. Now. Yeah, and if it's like mm-hmm. if it's like Pokemon, then you're like bring him to like the brink of death. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of <laughs> like right it's kind of like it's very similar to siring. If you you're a spray vampire, water on them to heal. You know, them. if you're a vampire and you make other vampires, they're sired to you. <laughs> Pokemoning is very similar to that, where it's like, I fucking kicked your ass. You belong to me now. <laughs> it works surprisingly well. Yeah. I've got I've got a small squirrel. Yeah. I have a bird. A yeah. wife. Yeah. A w- Who knew? Yeah. Right? This beer bottle, it's good. I'm drinking it, but then I'm going to use it to catch her later. Do you yeah. battle? Or- when I hit her with yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> God damn, Jesus! Yeah. So I'm a Pokemon trainer. No, that, I, I, what do you want me to do? I like, I like the idea of Michael saying that's like a police yeah, officer. Like, I'm a Pokemon trainer. Respect my Chris authority. Brown. I'm going to be a master. <laughs> oh. no. He didn't get past Brock. No. <laughs> All right. He was going after the it, it wrong It will be an equal battle. Those don't worry. were in the vicinity. <laughs> she can Pokemon me first if I don't Pokemon yeah, her. We Pokemon each other all the time. All right. It's a now we're getting to a new I've definition a lot of Pokemon, Pokemon, I think, now. We don't Pokemon yeah. each other yeah. enough. Yeah. She, yeah. she says we I'll, Pokemon I'll, each other. We, we don't really. She makes I it seem like we Pokemon more than we do. All right. You guys ready? Yeah. I'll see what I actually think it is. Now, according to 30 Rock. Pokemoning is the act of having a woman for each day of the week that gives you something else. Like, you have an older woman for wisdom. Oh. Or you have, like, a younger woman for playfulness. Yeah. And then whatever day of the week you feel like having your playfulness, like, hey, I want my playfulness. That's Squirtle for me. <laughs> and uh, just go visit that woman. Playfulness yeah. is Squirtle. Of course. <laughs> Al- always Squirtle. Thank and sometimes, you, you know, Charmeleon, the wisdom. Have you, have you participated in Pokemoning? Oh, always. <laughs> I'm a, I like Bulbasaur, of course. Yeah. Because my bullet sore. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's a sex thing. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Have you had sex, Matt? Uh huh. All the time. <laughs> Are you sure? Lots. Trust me. As much as you've been Pokemoning? Yeah. Matt's like, use yeah. Vine Whip. Yes. God, the more I hear the word. It's super effective. Like, <laughs> that's some weird, like, <sighs> dirty, like, bedroom talk when you're saying stuff Solar like that. Solar Beam, no. You, you, you go to Quick Attack? I gotta charge up for that. Hang on. Open the window. <laughs> Sun so, everywhere. Uh,. So, I was going to go like a dog fighting route, but I think I'm going <laughs> to... Michael kind of took that over. Yeah, exactly, so I want to change it up a little bit. Michael covered that. I think Pokemoning is just how you uh, explain evolution to a creationist. Oh, you give him like the game or something? Yeah, you're just like... My God. Listen, we probably... <laughs> we got to level 32, <laughs> and the monkey turned into a person. Yeah. <laughs> this happened. So we're... Yeah. So we're... We're Venusaur then? Yes. Yeah, that's I think we evolved. have a bit to go like, before we're there. Real, real humans Mon evolve at 36, in? Jeremy, not 32. Jesus is like... Jesus Mon, please. He's like Mon. a Pokeball. Jesus Mon. Is he like yeah. a Pokeball? I have no follow-up to what? this. <laughs> <laughs> guys, God damn it. You <laughs> catch Jesus Mon in a cross. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Just check it out. down there. He's done. Uh. Is that how it works? <laughs> that's how it works with Satan. Throw a cross at him. He's like, oh, I'm going to get something. Uh, if from I my understanding, you don't kill Satan. You don't catch Satan, yeah. Jeremy. Yeah. God. That's like the master You're like Chris ball. Brown. You suck. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right, no, what's Jesus the, let's find out what the real definition was. The act of simultaneously dating multiple partners because you got to catch them all. There you go. You were right there. I knew it. Nice. 30 Rock didn't fail me. Yeah, I'm going to go. Uh, uh, but Matt ha- was close on this, so he gets points. But I'm going to give 10 points to Lindsay because hers is also in the vicinity of yeah. multiple Ooh. partners. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Lindsay and was, she was just also, going with like the I actress. saw this on the show once. Yeah. Well, I knew the definition, Michael. That's the whole game. Matt is in it to yeah. win it. <laughs> <laughs> this golden gust. Yeah, he really wants it's it. It's going to stay on our desk. Let's move on to our next word. Team Do you guys minus. share a desk? Have you ever been over there? The share fuck does that bed. mean? It's going to stay on our desk? Yeah. Bearded, bearded Pop-Tart. Pop-Tart. <laughs> What's a bearded Pop-Tart? Do we start this one? Yeah. Shit. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> a bearded Pop-Tart is when you get someone... Let's use Jack as an example. Um, when he's going at it with a peanut butter and jelly, right? You mean eating it, right? He's Are fucking you know it? Mean? Or yeah. what you talking about Katie? Going, going at, at it has <laughs> multiple... Yeah, he's eating it. All right, so he's okay. like, he's very. That didn't really answer the question. He's very yeah, ferocious. He's going into this sandwich, young, attractive okay. and peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And it falls in there. You ever seen a guy with a beard and he's got pieces of food stuck in his beard? Oh. So you got like the fruit and you got the bread yeah. from the peanut butter and jelly. And you're like, that guy's got a bearded Pop Tart going okay. on right now. <laughs> yeah. It happens all the time. I could toast that shit and eat it, but I'm not going <laughs> to. Okay. Uh, all right. No so laughs. You, had, you had all that time. <laughs> To come up with an answer. I mean, I didn't really use it. Yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of go the same route where you have a pop tart uh-huh. and you have a, a gentleman with a beard, uh-huh. such as myself, which looks like shit. Uh-huh. And yes, uh, it does. All right, thank you, John. Need that for my self-esteem. Nice hair. 
Thank yeah. you, Saul. <laughs> Love you. So you go ahead, and you're eating your Pop-Tart, and uh, while you're eating, occasionally some beard will fall off into your food. I don't know if you know this, because you don't have one. Beard sheds? Yeah. Beard sheds. Okay. You never had the beard sheds? Sure. Okay. All right. I'm well, with anyway, you know, you, you eat it, and then, like, you go to give your friend a little bit of the Pop Tart, and it's like, no, I want that. It's a bearded Pop Tart. It's got beard all over it. Oh, oh. I see where you're you going. Because yeah. at first, it sounded like a Pop Tarted beard. No. Is what no. it sounded like. Come on, John. No, that was mine. That was yours. Yeah. yeah. That's what let's calm down. down. All right. Let's go over here. Mine's, Mine's good answer. short and sweet. Okay. So, you know, Dirty Sanchez? Right. Oh, bearded Pop Tart. Just like, put your Pop Tart in a toaster oven. Oh, it's done. Your friend doesn't notice before he, before he gets it. You smear shit right on the top of the pop tart. You make like a little Jesus. line, like on the pop tart. Yeah. Guy, see, he grabs the side, frosting out. Yeah. Doesn't see it. Yeah. He's like, "Oh, you've bearded my pop tart." And it's like, "Yup." That would not yeah. be yeah. that yep. man's yep. reaction. Yep. Yeah. 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 You, got you would have a pop tart thrown at you immediately. You'd be like, yeah. Oh god. Yeah. 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 Hey, hey, hey. Like, oh. yeah. You guys need to find a better class of friends. Yeah. And you guys don't beard each other all the time. I can't think of any friend I have that would be perfectly fine with eating my shit and then just. Jeremy? <laughs> See? I just. Jeremy he just soaked it. me. He wasn't yeah. my yeah. shit at all. I'm in the splash zone of Jeremy's mouth. Beard and pop tart. All right, buddy. <laughs> That's why we brought our own beers. You got you the okay right leg, that? but You good. need a moment? That was moderately funny. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Thanks, man. Jesus. Doused I'm me. really sorry. Oh, All right. It's very carbonated. I like so, it. Yeah. Bearded Pop-Tart. What's For me, a bearded Pop-Tart? I'm thinking of the, the, I guess, Urban Dictionary definition of a beard, which is someone who dates someone who is homosexual in okay. order to keep society and their judgmental ways yeah. out of their business. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good, so um, I'm yeah, thinking a bearded Pop-Tart yeah. is someone, it's your beard. Yeah. And in the morning when you wake up, you're like, hmm. I have to go to school, and everyone is going to be a piece of shit to me unless you continue pretending to be my beard. So this morning, would you like to do some freaky stuff? And it can kind of be like a breakfast starting the day kind of thing. So it's your bearded Pop-Tart. Gotcha. Yeah. Lindsay, do you still go to school? Uh, sometimes. <laughs> I was going to okay. say, you live with your beard and <laughs> yeah. go to school. So. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm not, not enrolled, but you know, I just show up. Show yeah. up. Could like, be college. Up. You know, you, you, you that, could live with your... So it's oh. like one person the Pop-Tart and one person's the toaster? They can or trade. What, how does that yeah. work? Yeah. You trade out. <laughs> I, you load I mean, it in, pull down the lever. It depends on what slot you want to go in. Is it is it a Pop-Tart or is it a fucking... Is it a strudel? Because with strudels, you get the fucking icing to put on yourself. Yeah. That's like fancy. You spread the beard on yourself. Beard and strudel. You could actually draw beard with Oh, okay. Yeah. That's God, imagine if you were fucking yeah. roommate. Yeah. That's like a bedazzle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's All right. the noise they make after you book them. Yeah, <laughs> right. Let's find out what the real definition was. To be frosty and cold hard on the outside, yet soft and gooey under the beard that hides your sprinkles so well. So when it's like a guy has a beard, it makes no sense. Yeah, I'll explain. I'll explain. So when okay. a guy, when right. it's kind of like, let's take, let's say Adam pretty Ellis, for example. Okay. He, he looks, he looks pretty intimidating on the outside. Pretty like he could be like a, a pretty badass Viking, but we all know Adam. Turns out, pussy on the inside. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. funny you say He's pussy. A the guy yeah, took off of work baby. to take care of his cat. Right. He was yeah, like, I'm getting a cat. I have to take off work. Right. Yeah, he did. So that was like his cat. like a bearded pop tart. I had to drive to his apartment after work because he left his cat food here one time <laughs> <laughs> he's devoted to that cat he loves, yeah, he that, loves cat. that thing I understand he won't bring love. it in because he's okay. scared it's gonna get like scared or something like that he's Aww. scared it's gonna he's scared get scared it's gonna get scared the fuck That's... does that mean what do you mean the fuck? Gonna, the he's, fuck wor is, he's worried that the cat I might could be, be happy. Worried. My the, cat's going to get happy. Who the fuck <laughs> ever <laughs> considers anything if I can't take my cat there because I might get scared? What the Adam fuck does that Ellis. mean? Adam, Adam Ellis. Adam Ellis. Just said where? Where? What is the, like where? the difference between the office environment than his house? He's yeah. like, oh, there's uh, more people, people here. The That's office? Oh, there's a fucking kitchen there. My hat. My cat hates kitchens. Yeah. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Paperwork, not about it. Yeah. <laughs> That's, my cat responds terribly to human beings. I, just, I don't want to. I don't want to scare it. My cat does respond terribly to human beings. Just like you, Matt. There we go. Okay, uh, so I need to pick a winner. No Especially one got it really episode. close. I feel like we all got it yeah. close. Yeah, as maybe close you as you can get with that yeah. definition. Think about idiot. how good. Maybe you should wear a pair of socks next time. <laughs> I don't know. I like Lindsay's the best. Why'd you untie his shoe? I was just reaching out. You should have at least tied them together. That way, if he was a waiter, he might that, spill spaghetti on himself. That was a last chance undie. Are you not wearing socks? Handle. I just pointed that You're out. Not wearing socks. I don't want your fucking points. Did you just hear what I just said? <laughs> Damn! Wow! <laughs> All right, so I just pointed minus that out. five points from Team Fuck A minus. No I'm sorry, <laughs> man. And it you took can give them space them on the desk. It's it. Oh, so sissing it up. 
points for the round. Every day, I'm a white sis. <laughs> the Republic's in trouble. <laughs> Republic is fucked. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. That's fine. Did you see episode word. three? Uh oh. <laughs> last word. <laughs> Goldblum list. Oh shit. What's oh, a Goldblum list? My sexual fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> What's Shame a Goldblum list? A Goldblum list is a list of that you're trying to give to someone, perhaps a grocery list, but you stutter over it so many goddamn times that you can barely get it out. So you're like, I would like, um, okay. Uh, if, if you could pick, if you could pick up some milk while you're there, that'd be great. Uh, maybe some uh uh, uh maybe uh, uh some eggs. Some eggs would be great. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yep. Oh, yeah. My God. That was the right yeah. answer. That was. Well, should we do we need to get any more answers? I, 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 Michael, I uh, for me personally, the Goldblum list is where Lindsay's gonna bang Jeff Goldblum. She's like, I'm gonna bang Jeff Goldblum watching Jurassic Park. I'm gonna bang Jeff Goldblum in our bed. I'm gonna bang Jeff Goldblum in his bed. I'm gonna bang Jeff totally Goldblum fair. in space. It goes Why not? on. Yeah, but that's she, that's space. her go-to, by the way. Yeah. Jeff Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum. So yeah, yeah that's unsettling for me. I I've come to terms with it. Matt's doing this. It can't be good. You guys Matt's doing that, uh, and I don't want to point this out, but Matt's been shaking his foot the whole time. Oh, oh thanks. Been yeah. Yeah. He's been doing that. Holy shit. Yeah. Are you guys not supposed to do yeah, that? Yeah, you guys I don't know. You should Apparent, really be better about apparently, that. Apparently, like, They're a habit that I had from childhood is killer Dude, I do that, too. Yeah. Well, you guys yeah. get in sync, and then you go yeah, at the same time. Yeah, but he's doing it now. now a little bit. Not. His What's your like, definition? Goldblum list. Goldblum list is the list of people I try to figure out who... Jeff Goldblum actually is. You don't know, I know who Jeff Goldblum, no is. Jeff Goldblum Do you seriously not know who Are you really, really fucking serious? Oh, I'm serious. I have right, no so idea. They can't no, no, no. We've right? had this okay, discussion. Wait, 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 no. He's never seen Jurassic Park. He's never uh, seen, what was it? All the Star Wars Clyde. movies? Never I've seen, seen all the Star Wars movies. Was that you? Okay. Oh, I don't yeah. know. Well, let me Star guess. Next, you're going to say you've never seen Law and Order Criminal Intent? The Jeff Goldblum seasons? No, Michael is furious. I watched Jurassic Park last night. Jeff Goldblum as a cop? Jeff Goldblum? Yeah. Uh, 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 was it? Uh, Nine right. He's the T Rex. He's actually. the T Rex. Yeah. Okay. Good all right. Job, Jeff Shitty answer. Right. What do you got? <laughs> Shitty answer. <laughs> um, all right. John, uh, you, a Goldblum <laughs> list is when you uh, you have a list of things that you need to do for the day. Yeah. Right. And you show it to your friend. Your friends like you can't do all those things in one day, and you just quietly just go like, life. Um, <laughs> nope. Uh, oh, didn't even finish it. Give points to Team uh, Sis on this one. Woo! I know who Sissing Jeff Goldblum is. Up. Don't even need to look it up. Sis. What's the definition? The list of people you find ridiculously attractive but cannot understand yeah. why. Yep. Yeah, they're pretty there damn. Pretty that's damn uh, that's on. that was pretty. I know he's on the spot, look, I know he's old and crinkly. All right, yeah. I'm still he's, attracted to that. Even when he wasn't old, he was still bizarre. <laughs> no, and he's weird. awesome. Yeah, him being it's old like is nothing to do with it. It's really it's crinkly but extremely useful. Even from Jurassic Park, it's upsetting. And you can bend every time I watch Jurassic Park. It's also really shiny. Brad Pitt's on the screen. It's fucking Jeff Goldblum. Look at the guy. He's a freak. He's a weirdo. He's my freak. This is Lindsay's top two. Jeff Goldblum Alan and Rickman. Alan Rickman. What the fuck is that? <laughs> That's a weird list. What does that say about me? That's a weird am, am I a, list. What yeah. the fuck? Well, <laughs> intelligence no. is sexy. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's Alan Rickman. Just in anything. Yep. There you go. He's a he's got a Muppet neck. He does, he does have a Muppet neck. He does have a Muppet neck. No Shout one, out to what no one knows what the fuck that means. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's find out what the points are at the end of that. We're not doing yeah. well. Where are we at? Yeah. Well, we have 40? About, nice. about what I expected. What if we have like six times Well, we lost than five you. points because someone was a dickbag. I did do that. You yeah. didn't whoa, lose whoa, five whoa. points. You gave five points away. Yeah, That's gave five points did. to assist. Oh, wow. So we, they actually were just giving straight yeah. to yeah. He said that. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. He said that. that. His shoe is still untied. Sis donation. I'm not sorry. I'm glad you guys are keeping it alive. Can you tell me shit? Thank you. It's like a dog. So let's move on to our next game, which is impromptu pitch. Yeah. Michael? That was good. <laughs> wow. So, like, your sound effects We're never using the real sound effects again. That's what, just re recordings we're going to use. What did you do? Or what? That was the sound effects. What? Minus five points! Damn it! Damn it! I'm so sorry! <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you? How many knots did you put in this? How did you not sure fucking it notice? Tied, John? I was distracted <laughs> by your sound effects. It was so good. He couldn't <laughs> so pay you attention lost your issue. sense of yeah. feel? <laughs> <and> my sound <laughs> effects. Why don't you? Oh my god. I'm just like, I'm so I'm watching what's happening. Uh, I would what? never take that long to Who took my shirt? pants off? <laughs> I was distracted. Yeah. Either way. I'm oh, wearing oh. a different Ten shirt. from Gryffindor. Yeah, from Gryffindor. So yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Snape. All right. So we got prompts. I will always thank Snape. You guys are giving pitches. You guys will get pitches one at a time, yeah, uh, one person at a time. <laughs> one person at a time, I don't think so. Yeah, you guys will go back and forth. I'll decide when you switch between players. We'll start with Team Sis on this one. 
<laughs> this is like a long round, right? Why? What, like the whole episode? Matt, or? All right, it's done. What, is, what are you doing? See, Matt and I haven't right? been sleeping a lot lately. Right? Yeah, so it's so, just as boring. We're going to get some shut eye while yeah. they're going, but we don't want it to be rude when people tune in and see us sleeping. So, Matt, <laughs> we'll, 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 you yeah, got so. googly eyes. I see. <laughs> Matt, the, you can't really see yours. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Matt, yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, you're good. Oh Matt's are protected by Jeremy. His for too. some reason, <laughs> you look like a dead Adam Kovic. For you some do. reason, like, <laughs> like <laughs> looking at the camera, it's bizarre. <laughs> oh my lord. Yeah. Wait, Who knew? <laughs> Adam Kovic must have googly eyes. How how would he suffer those? How would he suffer those? Can you shake your head like, my God? I can't my God. That. <laughs> oh yes. shit. Oh. And by <laughs> adhesive, you mean we put scotch tape <laughs> on the face of the All right. Thank you, you guys look. That's amazing. I heard that. Fuck. Those made a noise when they came off you. Snapped your eyelids. Oh my god. Christ. All right. I got scotch the tape. Matt, you should have put yours on your oh. glasses. Let's find out what yeah, uh, Team Sis's prompts are. Are you waiting? Michael or Keaton, or tell. McDonald's suspense. Wow. By. I'm, why would you even make that your your username? It's Paul nineteen ninety nine. Paul nineteen ninety nine. Well, that's what he wants it to be. Yeah. It's not. He's fluent uh, in Lee. What's wrong with that? Michael Keaton, McDonald's suspense. Six seconds on the clock, starting with Lindsay. Don't fuck this up. Go. It is early morning. A man waits at a window for cars to pull up and proceed with their order. This Michael. man is Michael Keaton, and he's working at a McDonald's undercover because he wants to see what it's like to work as a fast food worker for Lindsay. just one day. All the grease is actually kind of a turn on to him, but that's not the point. He's trying to make sure that he's not distracted by his job from getting the information from the man that's about to pull up at the window for he. Michael. The manager at the bank who knows the code to get into the vault, which Michael Keaton has to rob because. Lindsay. He no longer can get parts in movies since Tim Burton no longer wants to cast him. Michael. So. He pretended to be in Birdman just so he could get exposure again. That way he can put himself back on the map. That way no one would suspect Lindsay. that he was actually a bank robber. Yeah, and while he's bank robbing, he's actually doing a dual layer thing where he's promoting himself as an actor. But at the same time in the movie, he's going to flip it so that the bank manager Michael. ends up being himself. <laughs> <laughs> is going on over here? He put tape all over himself. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. I'd actually, I'd actually be interested in Michael uh, making that. Keaton. Michael Keaton, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll produce it. Could, it. You, yeah. could you play Michael Keaton? Yes. I could? Yeah. I'll write it. Yeah. We're done. Lindsay, uh, what's the name of this? Shout you make fucked up. <laughs> you make fucked up. <laughs> Alright, I like this. <laughs> Michael's so proud. I know where that's from. That's a... Yeah. <laughs> Inside jokes. On the hey, hey. Yeah. All right. Let's move on to uh, you guys. Let's see what your prompts are. Or you want fries with that. D don't change it now. <laughs> that's the I know who Christopher Walken is. Yeah, yes. Oh, yeah, man. It's like the it. best day ever. Christopher Please. Walken, nursing and home, erotic, erotic thriller from He Said, Sea Shed. Uh, so you guys got a Christopher Walken <laughs> nursing home erotic thriller, which we all want to see Christopher Walken oh, in. Oh, of course. Oh, my God. What's wrong, John? All right, I don't know. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, so six seconds on the clock, starting with Matt. All right. You looked right at Jerry Ready? when you said that. Are you talking to me or are you talking to him? Go. Christopher Walken has <laughs> entered into a wonderful older folks care facility, also known as a nursing home, mm -hmm. where he meets his lovely lady, Betty White. Jeremy. And he says, "Wow, she's got more <laughs> wrinkles than a walrus." <laughs> Matt. <laughs> And her tusks are even better. <laughs> After this wonderful line, which will be the tagline, I'm sure. Jeremy? He uh, decides that he needs to woo her, right? Matt. Ben, he walks. <laughs> YOLO! <laughs> he goes to the nurse's cafeteria and he gets the finest pudding cup he can find. Jeremy. Brings, brings her the pudding cup. And he, everyone knows Christopher Walken has amazing dance moves, right? Oh, cool. So he starts dancing over to the pudding cup. He's like, I heard you like tapioca. Matt. <laughs> my lovely walrus woman. <laughs> you. Oh, my that love. just turned into bad impressions of Christopher Walken. <laughs> Where did the walrus yeah. come amazing. from? 
I was because he walked. He's got wrinkles, wrinkles. Yeah. like what? people in a nursing home. Also walruses. Be gentle. John, it makes and sense. The, the tusks, the tusks were like her lovely dentures. Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> they're both still alive, right? Yes. yes. yes What's they're the, very much alive. Yes. <laughs> What's the name? Betty of this? White's got like twenty years on Christopher Walken, right? Uh, yes. The name Christopher Walken on Sunshine. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Is he going to be named Christopher Walken in the movie? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's a like, documentary, it's Michael. Story oh. of his later Just years. like Michael oh. Keaton is playing Michael yeah. Keaton in yours, or he's being named Michael Keaton. He's it's being all no, he's not. He's not Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton's playing a character named Michael Keaton. It has nothing to do with Michael Keaton. Oh. They're totally oh. different. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is that what happened in that one? I was fast asleep. It happened sometimes. <laughs> Your eyes were wide open. Yeah. <laughs> sleeping? Yeah. We fooled you. <laughs> all right, I'm going to give points to Team A minus on that one. Oh, yes. You guys won that round? We're the A-team. Come on. Yeah, yeah. but ba -ba -ba -ba. 10 points to Sis, because I really want to see that movie. Woo! Nice. So wait. The you Christopher Walken impression is what won it. You, yeah. you gave them points? Right, I like their... I, like, I, can, I can get... Minus Matt, five points for questions. God damn it, It's a better movie! <laughs> and the five points go over to Team Sis. Woo! So they get... So you 15 for that round. Fuck you, Hello, Six wins again. <laughs> Literally, the next time you show the scores, we're going to have less points. <laughs> Whose fault is that? You're the one demanding points be given away, Jeremy. <laughs> That's true. Maybe shut yeah. your mouth. I, I, you know, I'm just playing fairly. I'm giving... I'm Are you? I, <laughs> not true. I'm just not playing fairly. Adam Kovic's back. <laughs> All right. He did not move. Is he dead? I'll find out what our points are. He fucking sucked that in. That poke, he absorbed it. Okay, so you're not losing that bad. Absorbed the blow. 50 to 65. Oh, wow, we're actually really close. How did that happen? See, if we didn't lose those 15 points, we'd be tied. Well, you lost five Actually, no, we'd be winning. Whatever. Well, they lost five. Uh, you lost five. Why are you bottle opening a twist off cap? gave to you. No, we both got points. Throw that out there. Preserve your hands. I guess so. We're gonna go on to... Have you seen these calluses? Sound effect, Michael! He had to make it last a little longer think than he planned, it. huh? No. We want to think about it. Um, oh, so this is the German Coast Guard. I hope you're not thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is he where we, uh, we ask each team you. a question, and you guys are going to answer the question one word at a time between each other. And then my little whistle, my bell. This is where we were. Did you almost oh. say whiskey? I almost said whistle. Oh, okay. this is not a whistle. <laughs> Uh, and, but, uh, anytime during your answer, I can ring my little bell, and the other team gets the opportunity to interject a word into your, uh, answer, and you guys have to continue along with it. All right? Yeah. That's mm -hmm. straight up a bite bell. You were right. Yeah, it I know. Is. Yeah. He I thought it just it sounded like it. I didn't realize it was pulled off of a handlebar. So, whose bike did you steal that from? Never you mind. All right. Adam Ellis yeah. on the way to see his cat. Hey, Matt, <laughs> he's not on the spot. Yeah. You are. Okay, sorry. Okay? Sorry, I just wanted like, to know, why? John. We went with you guys first last time, so we'll go with you guys first. Fuck. Let's see what your question is. How to break out of prison. Easy. How to break out of prison. One word at a time. Starting with Jeremy. Yep. 60 seconds on the clock. Ready, set, go. First, you grab a chamomile. What? <laughs> what, yes. what is Cam it? It's a type of tea. It's type of tea. Chamomile. Cam I've heard You prepare the queef <laughs> to <laughs> insert it into the rectum of a guard. Hammock. Wait. In uh, <laughs> uh, your cell phone. <laughs> 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 then you acquire a broom t uh, to beat <laughs> the guard to, <laughs> to distract <laughs> from you escaping <laughs> and pry open the Snossages. <laughs> Glad you kept it relevant. On that. Yeah, that was pretty yeah. good, actually. So we were <laughs> down there. We, es we escaped and prying open bars. I don't know if that bars. was. No, that I don't was... know that you escaped. You beat a guard oh, and you, you got pried to the like yeah. oh, I don't know that you got away. That's step one. You were what able was to... the rectum of the hammock? <laughs> Can we read that out? It was guard hammock. 
the, yeah, oh, the yeah, yeah, you guys okay. got to the word escape at one point. We so, did. so that makes yeah. you think you actually gave like a, banana hammock. a good reason. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. What's I, I fucking great is every time you guys were saying a word, I had a word prepared. And when you said rectum, I was going to say rectum. Wow. Like if he See? ring the little bike bell, I was going to say rectum. And then you said it anyway. M&M connection. I, yeah. yeah. That's a candy. It can't do you that. <laughs> I, I thought you meant a rapper. You said candy? The candy. I'm still getting over how we escaped. Are you awake? You did I'm so excited. No, staring no, at your cell. We got we, we, were, right. we were going First to grab a chamomile. Sausages. You prepare the queef to insert into the rectum of a guard hammock in your cell phone. Then you require a room to beat the guard. To, I thought it was broom. To distract from you escaping and pry open the sausages. Yeah, yeah. Let's we were doing that inside of Matt, cell phone I'm honest, I really appreciate your friendship, so but let's you fuck me over when you say that. So, Lindsay, our goal here is We're in a jail. It's a yeah, jail. Yeah, I couldn't think of anything after cell to go forward. Coherent. You're really throwing me on Sorry. pronunciation. I'm, look, I'm the wrong soul. Like, what the fuck is wrong <laughs> with you? It's you know. actually pronounced chamomile. I was going to go with camels. Guys, shut the fuck up. It's John, go ahead. Sorry, buddy. Let's give Team Sis an opportunity. Okay. We'll sis it up. Yep. Let's see what your question is. Oh, How to make the best sandwich ever. You Don't break your key. You Shut break the your fuck key? up and focus on the question. Oh, you broke your key. Broke. Okay. It's because you broke it. You could have used it. that to escape from a sausage. That's not how to make the best sandwich ever. <laughs> All right. How to make the best sandwich ever, starting with Michael. Put a lot Six of seconds tape on the clock. I did put a lot of tape on you. <laughs> I had 60 seconds to put as much tape as I wanted on you. Ready, set, go. Take a slice of bread. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Forever. <laughs> because... You will need to take another slice of bread and <laughs> a dog. That's two words. That's two words. You are the worst. A. A is a. a word. You fucked up. I fucked up. Sorry. Place. And bread. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. Symbol. <laughs> yeah. Gather. Cheese plus meat, lettuce, and tape. The cheese to the bread and lettuce. Oh my god. Jeremy, what happened? Didn't make, what? That might actually make slightly more sense than theirs. Slightly. <laughs> You didn't have sausages at the end of yours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that was their doing. That wasn't right. your, like... We didn't get like, to do the last one. It was our word. turn! Yeah. You weren't even playing that round. You were, you were like, just getting tape up your fucking jeans. <laughs> yeah. a lot of tape on you. You do have a lot like of tape there. I feel like a DQ there. is in your future. It might be. You guys are like... Take a slice yeah. of bread forever because you will need to take another slice of bread and a place and bread, gather <laughs> cheese, plus meat, lettuce, and tape the cheese to the bread and lettuce. So basically, I'm and that's almost a yeah. sandwich. Yeah. You tape a, you tape a bread to cheese and lettuce and meat, yeah. and that's I, a sandwich. I mean, you got some tape yeah. there. That was yeah, a good tape recovery on their part. I want this this sandwich. I really do. I think yeah. I think we can make it, this it the official... It looks like it's just three layers of bread, <laughs> lettuce, and cheese. Forever. The forever tape. bread. Don't forget the tape. It's a very important part of the sandwich. It's the roughage. There's edible undies. There's probably edible tape. Yeah. yeah. Gotta be. Bubble tape. There you go. Yeah. What else are you going to hold your I clip? Thanks for it strengthening our argument. Helped you. Yeah. All right. Big League Chew. Man, I got a bad feeling we didn't win. <laughs> Points to Team Sis <laughs> no. on oh, that shit, one. Huh? I like over. that yeah, sandwich were, better than whatever yeah, happened yeah, in the it's not over yet, but it, it is actually yeah. over, isn't no, it? No, no. Who said it's not over? All right, go ahead. I did. That, well, that's I said they get the points. Okay. No, I meant the whole game. The whole game is over yet. I don't have any more games. Oh, so the so, game is over. Yeah. Oh, hey, it's over. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you done Mick fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> See, that was a callback. I got the mix. So now you're included in it. Yeah. Even job. though you didn't get the inside joke. Yeah. The mix sadness. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Let's find out what the points are. Do we need to? Ba -da 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 -da! We yes. won. Not surprising you at guys all. Lost hand over. Thank you, studio audience. Oh, did we audience? win? I don't know numbers. <laughs> I'll miss yeah. you. Nice. A hundred is bigger than sixty-five. Does, we it had a tricks you out though, right? Because it's we a did, fourth inch. You think you lost, but, but you won. I got no, it didn't trick me out. That, the number yeah. was next to us. <laughs> me neither. Doesn't <laughs> trick me out. There are two different shows going on this entire time. <laughs> is there? What show? <laughs> there's like a barrier right here, and there's two shows <laughs> happening. Yeah, the Lindsay and Michael show. The show no one else watched. Jeremy, you're catching on. All right, hand over, Gus. No, chuck yes. him. Yes. You want to catch him? Give us that phallic man. No, chuck him. I won't catch him. Yeah. There you That's go. Gus, uh, chuck. That looks nice. 
All right. Well, Should thank you. Uh, he's for got joining no us. dick. You can make look, that happen. Gus was born Take that away. Look, look, look yeah. he's just flat. It's it's often called keep pants stroking. in most cultures. How do you, well, I'm trying to put it. something there. It's like he's a genie in a lamp. The, he's doing the hey, Silence gotta, of the hey, Lambs thing, and he's tucking it under. No wonder he's never had a kid. Huh? I said, no wonder he's never had a kid. Yeah. Because he's tucking. Because he's All right, well, thank you, everyone, for joining me for, you know, another game. Be sure to turn in next Thursday for another episode where the Joneses come back, Team Sis. And we will see you then. rub him. Love you. Bye. rub that man. Bye, everyone. Next time on On The Spot, Michael and Lindsay defend their title against unknown combatants. Who's going to get slimed? Tune in next week and find out. Probably no one.